Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Today, I have the most exciting news for you all. I can barely contain myself. I couldn't say anything until I had told my patrons about it and I told them yesterday. So today, I can tell you what we are going to do to the Grand Salon, this room. When I bought, it still had these little extra 19th century walls put in. So we had those removed. One of the first things I ever did when I got to the chateau, making one big, beautiful space and starting to create an enfilade all the way down has removed these walls as well so it's all straight all the way down and then we had to redo all the flooring we put the underfloor heating in and the beautiful terracotta flooring then we had the doors onto the terrace double glazed then things stopped and we just kept it you know as nicely decorated as we can knowing that there will be something else in the future that day has arrived because thanks to my patrons we have been able to buy Louis XV, 18th century panelling, which has been taken from an hôtel particulier on the Ile Saint-Louis in Paris, and it arrived at the chateau. So now we're going to go back in time to last week, and you can see just how excited we were as it was being unpacked. Yes. Oh my goodness, I think this might be it. I think this might be the panelling. This is very important, this is the plan, and all the little extra bits that have fallen off as well. I think that's the library part. Yeah. So there's very long bits and then there's lots of shorter little bits like this. And he's thinking we could put these to one side and then get the long bits in first. Exactly, yeah. There's lots of little bits at the entrance. Oh, yeah, so, I recognise all the different pieces. That's the oh one from below the mirror. Oh. What is being unpacked behind me? is actually 18th century Louis XV panelling from an hôtel particulier, a little private mansion on the Ile Saint-Louis in Paris. It was being removed and unbelievably, because of our patrons here at La Lande, we've been able to purchase it and it's going to be installed in the car salon. This is an absolute dream. It was there from before the French Revolution and now it's coming here to live in the Grand Salon, to completely transform La Lande because La Lande has lost all of its interior panelling. It's lost everything in the fire. And to be able to put historic panelling like this back, it's incredible. And it's all because of our patrons. This is the sort of thing I've been dreaming of ever since buying the chateau. I think I better help carry stuff actually. I'm wildly excited, but things need to be moved. Yeah. What do you think, Natty? It is amazing. I'm, I'm... <laughs> It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's like mind blowing. It's fantastic. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I will help with the small things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hands on deck today. So many pieces. And it's my cousin, Amory, who's actually been seen on the vlog before, once when I was in London and once when he was here at a singles do. Uh, he is a carpenter, really amazing carpenter. He's actually going to come and stay here at La Lande and fit all of this. So, Amory, you've got a puzzle ahead of you. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Hope all's well. I received the photos of the panelling and my God, does it look stunning. And I cannot wait to start fitting it. I'll be there sooner than you think due to Covid, you know, but we'll be there. Anyway, speak to you soon. Bye. And now we have to be very careful how we store it until he gets here. Oh my goodness, like the bit yeah. you're holding. Wow, Steve. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Absolutely. Stunning work. To think that that was carved in the 1700s. This is uh, insane. We'll be storing it here for a while. We're trying to keep it as damp free as possible. This room actually isn't too bad and gets very aired regularly. Everything's so wonderful. <gasps> oh my goodness. 
everything just seems more and more beautiful. So Amory will have a lot of repairs to do, for example, just looking at this bed, you can see this is the shape that we're supposed to have here and here. It's missing there. I know that some of the missing pieces are actually in the envelope I was given, but some will have to be remade. And once we know exactly when Amri can start, one month before he starts, we need to move all of this into the Grand Salon and store it there so that it can get used to the humidity level in its final room before it gets fitted. That's a big door, I think. Oh, it may well be. Not yes, I think it is. It is. A little hole where the handle goes. That's the invisible door. Wow, Andy, you're strong. Oh. <laughs> We're in line. You are. Waiting. <laughs> Just another day of carrying 18th century panelling, hey, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Just a few cheers there. <laughs> Oh, that's the inside of the cupboards, look, yeah. with the different areas that you can put the shelving. And there's a shelf. Yes. <laughs> and another shelf. There is an incredible one coming in now. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at the moulding. So complex. <laughs> the Grand Salon is going to be transformed. I can't get over this. This is a dream. I feel as though I've just, I've just woken up in a dream. How is this happening? Oh, is that the mirror? Oh my god, this is the bit that scares me the most. So where do you want this? That's a very old mirror. This is scary. Oh, I'm terrified. This is the really scary bit for me. Oh, oh, so we. Oh my. We think that this is the safest option because at the moment, Nick can't get here. No one's using this apartment. When he comes back, we can move it. But a lot of people use the maintenance room. And we're just scared that it will get knocked. And we put the, the coffee machine for them. <laughs> yes, they've and, been uh, amazing. These delivery men, they haven't stopped. Wow. Merci, félicitations. Il y a encore des morceaux. D'accord, non. Non, mais c'est là que j'avais le plus peur. Two absolutely giant pieces left. Wow. Oh, goodness. Just incredible. It's a bag of the cupboard, isn't it? I think it is. I think you're right. Yes, two backs of cupboards, that's right. Uh, two bookshelves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't understand what those big bits were that didn't have any gold on them, but that's it exactly. I think we've been poring over these plans for so long, and we've got each bit individually. Yes, that I think we can recognize them on sight. We know exactly what fits to what. Let's hope so, because someone's going to put it back together. Yeah, what a jigsaw puzzle. I can't get over the size of these pieces. So we will have a, a bookshelf at the back of the Grand Salon, which will be wonderful, with a big mirror in the middle. I'll show you all the pictures of the room that was taken from to give you an idea. This is it, the last two shelves, and that's it. That's the delivery done. Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what a day. I hope you enjoyed seeing that arrive at the chateau as much as we did. We're still on a complete high about it. I can't wait for the summer because Amri will be here and I mean, I just love being with my cousin. We actually grew up very, very closely. He's more like a brother to me because my aunt and uncle lived with my parents. So we're super close and I'm so excited that he'll be able to come here and do that. And I wanted to show you the goodies that we found in this envelope that came with it. Firstly, and rather importantly, we do have the missing bit. Do you remember when we were looking at them as they arrived? There was one that had the, the base off it and it was in the envelope. So I'm really pleased about that. And a couple of other little pieces. And the keys for the doors. <laughs> 
and Philip noticed something amazing. I don't know if you remember the vlog that we did at the mystery chateau belonging to Mark's sister of Mark and Amy from the Chateau de Rosières. Their sister has the most amazing chateau that he grew up in and he had keys with numbers on. And Philip thinks that this is a one and a two. I'm pretty sure, actually. You, you, it's not as clear as on their keys, but I think you might be right. I think I'm right, too. Yeah. So I was saying that's amazing. I've never seen that. I would love that one day. And I think we've got that now, totally <laughs> unexpectedly, with the panelling. This is very exciting. And here are the rooms. Uh, there's all the photo of the room, which is just... Yeah, these ones I've already showed you, but really incredible doors. And this is the plan that my cousin will be using. It will have to be cut down. It is 25 centimetres taller than our room. That is the lowest panelling that I could find. Actually, this is why it's taken me so long to source panelling, because if you cut down panelling that's a metre higher than the room you want to put it in, all of the proportions of the patterning get lost. Uh, so we couldn't possibly do that. But this one is pretty close. And my cousin is very used to doing this work. I sent him everything before buying it. And he said, yes, he can do it. And he can make any additional pieces. So we have a very exciting year ahead of us. It will be weeks, if not months of work, and it will be starting in the summer. I can't wait to be on this journey with all of you this year. All of this excitement is only possible because of the patrons of the Chateau Diaries. So it's just a huge thank you to all of our patrons for making this possible for us and for all of the viewers to enjoy watching as well. So I think until lunchtime, I'm going to get on with writing patron cards, which I've, I've got quite a big pile there. <laughs> just a couple. Yeah, but I like it. Good luck. Thanks. How many hours before lunch? Couple. <laughs> Good luck. It's my favorite time of the day. The bread delivery lady just came. She leaves them out here. So we've got one huge pan. This is absolutely enormous. The baguettes for Sarah and Steve. Oh, Steve, your baguette is here. Ah. Voilà, monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Bon appétit. Yeah. <laughs> and two pan. Okay. Take those into the kitchen. I feel a bit let down today, Philip. I'll be honest. Where's the tray? Where's the asparagus? <laughs> Though crab mayonnaise on the most delicious bread. It's, it's not bad. I'm going to quickly finish this and then let's go and see how Matt's getting on. Good. The new china pantry. Matt, I'm really pleased to see you here. Andy's done a great job of clearing the room. Wow. Yes. Just obviously get rid of the freezer quickly. Yeah. Right. So. Natalie showed me some tiles that you've got yeah. over there. Natalie was saying she wants this floor absolutely perfect, which is not a problem. Yeah. But remember, you're using old, old tiles. They're probably yeah. 100 years old. And they're all chipped. They're all... Mm. Have you seen well, think... any good look at them? Yeah, but she means as perfect. You know, I, you know I'll, I'll get it absolutely perfect. They can't suddenly be unchipped. That's absolutely no, exactly. Perfect. When you were saying about all these, I thought these were like yeah. pristine tiles coming from the <laughs> other side of the world. And then she gives me a lump of concrete and says, that's what we're going to be using. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which is not a problem. With an old building like this, you've got to keep it yeah. kind of old as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I'm totally fine for it to, to look as though they've always been here, you know? Yeah. Let's, let's make it look as though the, the floor was always in here. Yeah, that's cool then. That's fine. So we'll get the concrete down. Yeah. Then we'll prep all the walls. We'll Lovely. At least an undercoat on. Yeah. Okay. And then the tiles will be the last job. Right, we've okay. come out to look at the tiles. Yeah, I mean... They're not new. No, I can see here, there's all the cracking on the edge. And as I was saying, you've got all yeah. the old adhesive that's still on them. One yeah. we picked up the other day. Plenty of poo. Yeah, loads on that. I mean, so, you think how long it's going to take to get all that off? Yeah, and do you think that's uh, not lime? You think that's well, cement? Lend me your finger now, Natalie, to give it a scrape. <laughs> I've got one here. <laughs> yeah, mate. It will come off. Okay. We will Obviously get it off. that's for every single tile, isn't At it? Every single tile. That's yeah. what I say. If we were to actually put them all on the floor and try yeah. it with the pressure wash first. Yeah, you might get quite a bit off with one, that. It will yeah. just, and it will clean them. Good. So that's not as bad as we feared. No. Excellent. No, it's not. But I'm just saying, you're probably looking at five or six minutes a tile. Yeah. So it's probably, you can see how many there's going to be, we're going to need. Yeah. There's a couple of days work there. Yeah. 
and a horrible job. It really is a horrible job. I mean, you That's know, we look I around to... and everyone's like, oh, look, that needs Natalie doing. Did say yeah, that we're, we're too busy, aren't we? <laughs> Natty would love to. She meant it. She'd love to. Sadly, she's too busy. No, she has to <laughs> I'm going on holidays. <laughs> she said she wanted to be involved. Yeah, uh, as in a supervisory role. <laughs> no, that, that wasn't that wasn't the plan. Finish cleaning the. And then you've got all the little ones as well, which are also. It's going to be so pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah, but with all the chips and. Oh, I mean, mm. you look at these. Well, I think that's not the best one you've picked out. No, that was just the first. <laughs> Didn't have much poop on. <laughs> Yeah, I am. He's a very fastidious man, Natty. Are these the same colour? No, oh, let's hope so. Doesn't look like it, does it? Actually, when it's cleaned, it may well be. No, they haven't. I've never noticed that, that we might have two different colours on those. Oh, they're just upside down. Oh, no, I think they have the same colour. See, they're, they're quite good, but they're obviously... Yeah, I think you just, you started with a dud there. The others are great. Look at that. It's perfect. Until, until we get them all out. Yeah. But they're going to be so beautiful. Like ye of little faith. That's a pretty gorgeous French floor, isn't it? I think go to Bricker and get some new ones. Don't be silly, <laughs> <laughs> Nice square ones. We're going to prove this to you when it's down. It'll be shock and awe. So do you want me to get someone over here? Yes, please, to, to do that. To clean all these up? Yeah. Because okay. uh, as far as we're concerned, it's either cleaning tiles or making videos. Well, we can make the videos and we can watch <laughs> you do it. Everyone would actually really enjoy seeing yeah, that. Put a <laughs> yeah. Fast uh, camera, you know. Then yeah. you... Matt the roller digger does a takeover of the Chateau exactly. Diaries. I can do it. <laughs> but let's get that floor up. Wow, what a job. Ils sont vraiment super lourds, hein? This is a good system. This is a really difficult job. He's trying to loosen all of the tiles so that they can then just come in and lift them. It's so hard. Don't mind me bringing a dumper in the house, do you? <laughs> you always give Dylan the best jobs. <laughs> I'm sorting the dumper out. <laughs> you don't mind if we bring it inside, do you? No, I don't mind. I believe you've got big news for everybody. Yeah. I finished the compost. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the compost bin is done! That was quite a project because I started and then yeah. I went to the loo and then I had stopped the loo so came then back I came to back to the compost bin. and the weather is uh, very good uh, in a couple of weeks so uh, finally you could finish it. It's beautiful summer! Uh, yeah. uh, do we usually need a chair for compost bin? Oh it's for the demonstration! Oh excellent, thank you very much. <laughs> this chair needs a little bit of welding. So this is one. Thank you very much. It's two. Two. And three. So we start in one. Yes. So then Dan is coming with his uh, stuff. Okay, I see Have the it? wheelbarrow. Ooh, we have a problem here. Oh, oh, oh how do we get it in? Oh no. But then, <gasps> get them out. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. It's like, what's behind door number one? <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number one. <laughs> it's <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, look at that. So the wheelbarrow can go straight in. We can put it in. Oh, I can practically nice. smell it will, the vegetables uh, from here. It will stay here. For, uh, for, for a while. Yes. And at some point, you can move it to, to here. So. Compost bin number two. And it's electrician. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's so nice that you can take this out. That it's much easier to get in the second. Because yes. else, yeah. But you thought it will be too high, but no, 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 no. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, it's seriously cool. That's not really my own design. There were some ideas of, uh, of Dan, of Davey, 
and somebody should send me a mail. So I put yes. it all here. Yes. And then, then you get this. Came up with something uniquely like that. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, and for here it has to be beautiful. Yeah, it does. Chateau. It does. And the fact that it's also uh, got the hedges yeah. on either side, because really? I think it will be really pretty. And then there's also, this is nice. more in the line of this. It's excellent. So, I thought about that too, to make it a little bit between there. Yes. So which bachelor do we have behind compost bin number three? So the winner is a tree. And it's Selma! <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies, which one are you going to choose? <laughs> so? It's so. wonderful. Yeah. I never thought I'd want to sit staring at a compost bin, but I do. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, thank you. Should we move your desk over here? I know, I could like it. I could write the patron card here. So yeah, yeah at first you can uh, have a party here. Yeah. And, uh... So we're still doing the party. I spoke to Natty. We want to get dressed up one evening or one afternoon, bring a bottle of champagne yeah. and put the first banana peel in. Yeah. Sort of symbolic offering to the compost bin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next week yeah. we'll get everyone okay. together. Proper yeah. compost bin opening. You should name it as well, I think. Yeah, I, I want to ask Dan for to make an, uh, an, a, a, a nice plate because he's very good at yeah, it. Yeah, he's really good. And uh, yeah, well, a name? Yeah, I don't know. All right, you've got time to think about it, yeah. but you need to come up with a, a name. They are beautiful pieces of wood. That's a lot of work. Then you see that is from one tree. Yes. And then that is one tree. tree. That's an oak. Yes. And that is one tree and the buff is one tree. Wow. <laughs> I really like what yeah. you've done. Yeah. Uh, it's super cool. Yeah. Everyone's going to order. Yeah. Well, they can order. <laughs> <laughs> Click the link below for 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> Chateau style compost. Yeah. Yeah. Before we leave the garden, look what I've just spotted. Our new thornless blackberries. They're all shooting. Yeah, look at that. Is that what it is? Yes, that's all the little shoots coming out. Oh, you want to let it grow on yes, we're going to have blackberry Selma. I love blackberries. Yeah, me too. What's happened? Everything is out. Are you serious? Or it's out. They managed it. Do did well. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Quick. That was so quick. Oh, really quick. <laughs> Dila, super, c'était vite! Merci, vite, ça a été. Super! Et quelques pierres qui ont été très très lourdes. Oui, j'imagine, et j'ai vu quand tu essayais de les soulever, mmh. il y en avait très lourdes. Il y en a une qui est venue juste à côté là parce qu'on ne pouvait pas la. Enfin, je vais voir, elle est où? Juste. I mean, there's a super heavy one around here. Oh, wow! Wow! Just huge! Actually, on the way in, I just want to show everyone that Ian has got much further with this. The walls are all tanked, the insulation is down, and we're just waiting for the concrete to arrive. So now let's go back in time and you can see when I was here with Ian and Natty and we were asking her how she'd like the layout of the room to be. Wow. Big change again, Natty! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go and see oh what That's you think very, of your space. Very, very careful. So the insulation is in. The insulation is in. Yeah, so we've taken the membrane all the way through. It's got yep. the walls behind the additional um, king span. Great. Good. Uh, that way we don't get any water penetration up through the yeah. through base of the pier. Fantastic. These will have the concrete in for the two pillars. Let's just hear pillows. It's pillows. It's going to be my <laughs> pillow. Pillows. 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 <laughs> pillows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that the ceiling doesn't fall on you. Oh, that's a good yes. thing. Thank <laughs> you, Ian. Well, yes, Thank fine. you, Ian. No, I'll put you first. <laughs> It is amazing. It's so much bigger than I than yeah. it feels before, you know? Well, yeah, it does yeah. feel way bigger. So how big is this space? Literally wall to wall with 48 yeah. square meters. I can't believe yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can't believe it. Honestly, my flat in London is just over 50 and that's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Yeah. And we're standing in here and I'm thinking, well, is there space for a little bathroom and yeah. a bed? Because I think we lose all sight of um, yeah. proportion at La Lande. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's good. That's yeah. amazing. That's what I'm saying. There's, so, there's so many choices. That's, with those drawings we've done, we can mm. just keep moving it. I don't know what you, what you would like. My thought had been that it would be nice to have like your bed yeah. and sitting area over there by yeah. the double doors onto the garden. Yeah. And then maybe the bathroom just behind me with that window in it. So okay. that you have a little window in the bathroom. Yeah. And then this area could be your desk. 
or you can carry on working in the petit salon that uh, mm. whatever you prefer you could keep this as just a living space yeah um and it would mean that you can still keep an eye on people coming and going and keep the work stuff somewhere else or have it here i don't mind yeah i think with the season when the better breakfast is in yes uh, i need to be there because you can see people around see, the house yeah, and yeah. they can see me and then they don't have to look at me yeah um, yeah for me anywhere you know so that's something well, for we, you we to think about the, if, if that's going to be the bathroom we could wrap the kitchen space that you need you need a lot of kitchen space but we could wrap that on that on this side of it as well yeah and then I could keep all the drainage together. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Though I can't imagine you needing yeah. a big kitchen. No, no, no big kitchen, please. No, no, no. <laughs> I will use yeah. the kitchen, uh, the main uh, yeah. kitchen, if I fill it. Like, yeah. yeah, that's amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is beautiful. How do you feel about having a nice log fire in a? In a... Beautiful. You like that? Yeah, I love yeah. it. Maybe if we put you a log burner there. Yeah. Um, we can, we'll put an air ducting system that will actually bring the hot air back down over the side as well. So it will just help. Yeah, that's room. nice. Especially as you're literally next we, door to the wood the, store the wood here. Yeah. <laughs> so if somebody can cut new wood yeah. or they can even bring wood in for you. We'll design mm. it that way. I will have. I will have to have someone to cook my wood then. I yeah. think you will. <laughs> yep, we'll need some hot lumberjack just for yeah. Natty's wood. <laughs> this insulation here is very dense. Very, yeah. very dense. Because this is an outside wall there and there yes so for the sake of it this wall as well we'll start off with uh, 50 millimeters of this then when we bring our stud wall out we'll have an additional 100 millimeters of uh, rock wall good so we'll have a lot of insulation super, super in there. insulation good i think the biggest difference to this room is going to be the light from having those windows lowered yeah and the doors what about the, the roof? Is going to be like well, that, or are you planning to? We're going to obviously we're going to have to insulate this and soundproof it as well. Okay. And take care. Yeah, so you'll see the beams. Yes. Beautiful. But just a little bit, and yeah. you won't see any of the, the slats in between. Beautiful. Okay, I've really got a rush now. It's been a fantastic day, but I've been a little bit nervous because tonight I've got a live Zoom talk with the French Heritage Society. Uh, they're based in America, and they're amazing. They do a lot of grants for listed buildings in France. We're not listed here, so this is not for any kind of grant funding. But they've asked me to give a talk about how we're funding everything at La Land with the YouTube ad revenue, with the Patreon revenue. So I'm I'm super nervous because there's going to be a lot of people watching and I hope that what I'm going to be saying will help other chateaus and other places that that need to restore in this way so I'm just a bit nervous I'm, I want to want to get dressed I don't know what to wear maybe Philip you can help me sure <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much I never know how to end zooms and then I'm always worried that it's definitely off that I'm talking and I don't realize everyone's still listening to me. I think it went really well. You're amazing. Thank you. That was so lovely. It was really nice. It's actually lovely to look at the slideshows and remember all of the renovation and things that we've been through. It was incredible. I think I'm feeling quite on a high, actually. I feel like I need a party. Are the others still downstairs? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go and see everyone. I'm, I'm, st I'm actually in a bit of a daze today because we've told everybody about the panelling, which is a dream. And my cousin's coming to stay and that was a really great chat. And I feel really good about the future of La Land. But what I need is a glass of wine because I'm still like just shaking from the adrenaline of having spoken to lots and lots of people live. It feels really nice though. It's silly because I make videos all the time. So why would it feel any different? It doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh! You didn't tell us! Look at my. I always dress like this for dinner, Natty. I never tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. Tell me later, time for dinner. Yes. Just. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, we won't leave it, but we will. Let's just have a little bit. No, don't worry if you want to go and like, relax. Oh, over here. Oh, oh thank you. Long. How's everyone been? What happened? Thank you. Yeah. It was a gift in Caddo at the Chateau. Was it really? And it's somebody who actually crocheted it oh, yeah. out of silver wow. wire. Oh. It's amazing. It looks cool. beautiful, yeah. I would love a glass of wine. Which colour? Right <laughs> a colour rosé. Right. Pink wine, please. Thanks so much, Samma. <laughs> As if today couldn't get any better, it is jacket potato night. 
Marie, I love you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Always the answer someone looks for when telling someone they love them. <laughs> <laughs> A huge thank you to all of our patrons at La Lande who are making this vlog possible. Especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of La Lande. Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brian, Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia, Begum, Denise, Behrens, Jill, Bidwell, Candice, Blackburn, Candice, Ned, Borkowski. Cara Butcher, Paulina, Calabra, Chloe, Chalakani, Lindsay C. Chelton. Stephen, Sarah Cole, Zoe Dork, Sakura, Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari. Caroline Furster, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy. Brenda Harris, Delaine Hulbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson. Jacqueline Holmes, Priscilla Hubler, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Teresa Sloan, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Laurie Siebert, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Anne the Leafhouse, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Vallelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Viest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cocopu, Greg with David Young, Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.